we're deeply concerned about the current financial crisis of the Palestinian Authority, and the crisis is related partly to Israel's decision to withhold 6% from revenues it collects on behalf of the PA, and is also partly due to uh, the Palestinian leadership decision not to accept any funds uh, or any clearance transfers unless the full amount is re uh, reinstated. The Palestinian uh, government is currently implementing extreme austerity measures that cannot be sustained in the long term. There's a need for the international community to recommit to a common strategy of building the institutional and economic foundation for a future Palestinian state and to underpin efforts to achieve a negotiated two-state solution. The situation in Gaza remains of great concern and the people of Gaza uh, need to resume to an ordinary life and activity. For that to happen, the current closure regime must be lifted, and in the meantime, increased access to energy, to clean water, health services, job creation, and movement of people and goods in and out of Gaza is crucial. Gaza is an integral part of Palestine, and the internal divide between Gaza and the West Bank must end and allow for the return of the PA to Gaza. The parties and the donors should uh, also advance in implementing key infrastructure projects in water and energy sectors, especially in Gaza. Donors should mobilize support for the humanitarian package for Gaza in coordination with PA. There's a strong international consensus on a negotiated two-state solution. Our aim is a financially independent, democratic, contiguous, and sovereign Palestine state, living side by side with Israel in peace and security. Negotiations on the outstanding issues related to territory, borders, security, access and movement, Jerusalem, refugees and natural resources must be concluded. In addition to the funding crisis that faces the PA, I remain worried that the consequences of inadequate funding for the Palestinian refugees through UNRWA, this has the potential of becoming a security threat in Gaza, the West Bank, Lebanon, Syria and Jordan. My fear is that the acute financial situation of UNRWA could allow radical groups to become operational in the Palestinian refugee camps.